Hey guys, and welcome to a tutorial on how to use Google Docs to make your Works Cited page. We're going to start by making sure we have the add-on Easy Bib Bibliography Creator downloaded. If you do, you should be good to go. And we're going to press Enter so that we're down at the top of a new page. Notice I already have Works Cited at the top of the page, but you don't actually need to have that. Go ahead and open your Easy Bib Bibliography Creator add-on, and you'll see it pop over there to the right. There it is. And you can see from the menu at the top that we're going to be choosing whether we want to cite right now, why we want to cite a book, a journal or a website, journal article or a website. We're going to start with a website. So once you select that, you go to Google and you're going to type in the search terms to find what you the website you use. So I'm going to type in Auschwitz USHMM because that's the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum. That's the one I used. And I click on the results, make sure it is looks like the one I used. Come up to the search bar, does it match the one on the bottom of the page I printed? Sure does. Copy it and paste it into my easy to add on. Now I click search and here it is. That's the one I want, which it is. I click select and it makes it for me. Make sure it's in MLA format. There it is. I click add bibliography to document. It's that little red button up there at the top and it will paste it in. Now I go back to Google, searching for my next one, type in pearlharborhistory.com. Click on it, make sure it is the one I used, make sure it matches the URL on the bottom of the page I printed. Yep, that looks like it. Sure matches my URL. Copy. Paste it into my easy bid. Click search select it, and boom, there's my citation. If I click my little red Add Bibliography to Document button, there it is, it added it for me. Okay, how about next, we look at adding a book. I used a book. As you see, I can search by title, ISBN, or keywords of the book. If you don't know what an ISBN is, it's on the barcode on the back of the book, and it's usually a 10 or 13 digit number. Right above that barcode, it says ISBN next to it. Each book has its own ISBN number, so that's the quickest way that I use to find them. But if you don't want to do that, you can search by title. So the book I used is Kinder Transport. I type it in. It's going to show me a list of every book called Kinder Transport, so i got to make sure I pick the right one. Find the one with the author. There it is. There's the one I used. I click Select. And there we go. There's the little beige box where it added it for me. If I click my red Add to Bibliography button, it's going to shoot it right into my paper. Now notice it added it in the middle. It added it in the middle of the other two because all works cited pages are always in, are in alphabetical order by the first word in the entry. So the first word I had was Auschwitz with an A. So this one got added next because it starts with a C and the one at the bottom started with a P. So that's where it got added. Now, journal articles. You have two choices when it comes to a journal article. You can either type in the title and keywords, the, you know, anything that would help you, f that would help Google find it, but you got it from a, the SERS database at this point in time, most of you did, and so you can just copy it off the bottom and type it in yourself. So if you figure out where it goes in alphabetical order, you can hit enter and type it in yourself right there. It's up to you. I haven't had a lot of experience finding journal articles in EasyBib, so I don't know what will work out best for you. So this is where your Works Cited page goes. Um, if you have any questions, you're welcome to ask me. I think most of you will be able to figure it out and uh, get a good Works Cited page going.